The most expensive home in London at the moment is 228A Rutland Gate, valued at an eye-watering $262 million. In 2012, the gorgeous house had seven stories and 45 bedrooms, with a total size of 60,000 square feet or 5,600 square meters. The incredible 228A Rutland Gate has a lot of incredible features, including a swimming pool, several lifts, underground parking, and substantial interior decoration of gold leaf. According to the Evening Standard and a post from Monza Hammond of The Guardian, the interior of the building was beautified by the French designer Alberto Pinto. The windows of the building are also said to be bulletproof. As incredible as it sounds, it's true. The large white stucco house was initially created as a terrace of four houses in the mid-19th century. The four separate houses were later merged into a single property. There was a contest to redesign the house that was held back in 1982 and won by the architectural firm YRM. The present 2-8A Rutland Gate was built between 1985 and 1987, replacing 2 Rutland Gate and 4-8A Rutland Gate, a group of buildings from the 1930s. The Survey of London describes the design of the present 2-8A Rutland Gate as one of YRM's least modern designs. The building comprises a rather bland white palazzo. And we couldn't agree more. The property does not give a modern outlook, but it's definitely one for the books. Let's move on to the history and previous owners of this enormous property. Since 1982, 2-8A Rutland Gate has been acquired by UNAC Corporation registered in the Dutch Antilles tax haven of Curacao. The house was even the London resident of the former Prime Minister of Lebanon and wealthy businessman Rafik Hariri until his unfortunate assassination in 2005. After the Prime Minister's death, the stunning property was given as a gift to the then Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who had some business links with Rafik Hariri. In 2011, the Crown Prince passed on and by 2012, 2-8A Rutland Gate was revealed to be for sale at an asking price of £300 million, which would have made it the most costly house in Britain if it was purchased, exceeding the £140 million paid for Park Place in Berkshire by the Russian banker Andrei Borodin. The house stayed unsold and was later valued at £140 million in early 2015. In June 2015, items from the house were put up for auction in a 1,252 lot sale during two days. Things for sale included gold-plated waste paper bins, Murano glass chandeliers, and 24 marble bathrooms. A loan of £55 million to sponsor the expense of stripping out the building was then acquired against the property in December 2014, issued by Omni Capital Partners, a financial services firm run by the property architects Christian and Nick Candy. After 2-8A Rutland Gate had not been traded by July 2015, the Saudi holders of the building were intending to turn the house into luxury flats. It was later purchased in January 2020 by Chinese businessman Sheng Chung Kyu. The Chinese billionaire who made his fortune buying cassettes and umbrellas has been allowed to partly destroy his 45-room mansion facing Hyde Park and build a £500 million mega palace in its place. Westminster City Council in 2021 rubber-stamped Hong Kong-based tycoon Cheng Chung Kyu's plans for the $262 million property in Knightsbridge, which includes demolishing and restoring the third, fourth, and fifth floor.
2011. A representative for Cheng Chung Kyu earlier said that if the property was refurbished and converted into flats, it would be worth up to 700 million pounds. Wow! Building on the property for its renovation began in 2021 and is expected to be fully completed in early 2025. 2 to 8A Rutland Gate has also been compared to two other luxurious London houses. Swiss Group property agents who were dealing with the sale verified they'd received the £280 million which was under contemplation. Numerous parties had previously communicated an interest in the supermansion, including a Russian and a Saudi buyer. The close Qatar embassy was also rumoured to have an interest in the property. In the 1990s, the whole property was equipped with celebrated Paris-based interior designer and photographer Alberto Pinto's company during a two-and-a-half-year renovation. Albert Pinto's well-known company, which usually kits out luxury yachts and planes, spent from 1992 until 1994 working on the house, bringing in pieces from all over the world. The company also did some redecoration, figured to have cost a total of £50 million in the late 90s or early 2000s, but very few things have been put in since then. Designers had searched several luxury items for the house, including Barvior and Tosso, Baccarat, Luderet, Christophe, Valderam Abili, and Baldi Home Jewels, all of which were on sale, as were whole contents of the Baldi bathrooms, adorned with such semi-precious gems as amethyst and malachite, together with valuable metals such as silver and bronze gold. Thanks for watching, until next time.